Hello and welcome to COVID-19 News Bulletin brought to you by Qatar Media Corporation. Her Highness Sheikha Moza Bint Nasser, UN Sustainable Development Goals Advocate, Chairperson of Education Above All and Silatec, joined prominent leaders on Monday in a global advocacy effort entitled Rise for All to support the UN Secretary General's call for solidarity and urgent action in response to the socio-economic impacts of COVID-19 and to save lives and protect livelihoods, urging leaders in all countries across all sectors to address the human crisis of the pandemic. The Ministry of Public Health today registered 677 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 and the recovery of 68 cases. This brings the total number of recovered cases to 1,134 cases in the country. Director of the Public Health Department of the Ministry of Public Health, Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Hamad Al Thani, stated that the state of Qatar has so far designated five hospitals along with four health centers for testing, examining and caring for suspected cases of COVID-19 patients, in addition to a hospital for medical isolation. Hamad Medical Corporation has launched a mental health service targeted at people suffering stress and psychological distress during the coronavirus pandemic. The service is available for all people, including children, adults and seniors. Qatar Charity and the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees have signed an agreement worth $1.5 million to provide emergency cash assistance to Syrian refugees across Lebanon in response to the humanitarian needs caused by the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. With that, we wrap up today's COVID-19 Bulletin. For more updates, you can follow us on our social media platforms at COVID-19 Qatar and detailed news can be found at our website covid19qatar.info. Thank you for tuning in and we'll be back with more news updates tomorrow.